Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I want to share my new planner system with you because I don't know, I think it's important to update what's working and what's not working. And for the longest time, and I'm talking like years, I used a bullet journal planner system. If you've been around, you've, you've seen... My heart literally just stopped. It was FedEx, but thankfully I did not wake Theo up. I would have murdered someone. Where was I? If you've been around for a while, you've seen my plan with me videos where I share how I'm like planning it all out in my bullet journal. And I really did enjoy the bullet journal system because it you could totally customize what you needed day to day and month to month. And so I had a really good system going in there. But once I had Theo, a bullet journal just wasn't realistic anymore because my time is so precious <laughs> and it is time consuming to keep up with a bullet journal, plan it all out, draw it all out, design it all out, and ain't nobody got time for that. I just had to be much more picky with what I was spending my time doing. So a bullet journal, like it just, it doesn't fit anymore into my current lifestyle and that's okay. So I just started using Google calendars for a while because I thought it would be easier if it was just digital. Planning it out on Google calendars just wasn't working for me. I tried putting it all into Notion as like a one-stop shop. That didn't work for me. And I came to realize that like, I really need a like physical pen and paper planner system. And that's how my brain works and that's how I am best organized. So I started playing around with the idea of getting a physical planner again, but before spending the money, I wanted to figure out what I actually needed that planner to do for me because it is so unique to every person and like whether they work from home, what kind of work they do, if they have children, what age children they have, whether they like meal plan. I really took the time to sit down and think through what do I need this planner to do for me? And what I found, dun, da, da, da. so I need a space for each day's to do. So I work from home, fem head, and I need just like a little box, a little box each day to write down a couple tasks that I wanna get done for work. And it's not that much. Like today, I have written down in my tasks, film my planner video, Monday email, edit videos, yada, yada. Like I don't need an entire page dedicated to just one day. I just need a little, a little box. I really like ongoing to-do lists because it's kind of a place for a brain dump because as I think of things, I can write them down. Like just before filming this, I was like, oh, I need to work on Theo's Christmas list this week because family members are already asking for it and I know I need to work on it, so I put it on there. And so having a kind of ongoing to-do list rather than trying to like schedule it out perfectly to fit into the week is what I need because I really go day by day at the moment because I don't know like what I'm gonna have time for, what I'm gonna feel like working on. I used to be able like, oh, I'm just gonna sit down and bust out all the editing or all the filming or I'm gonna work on my social media like plan this day but my work revolves around how long Theo's nap is. So I can plan out tasks like, okay, I think I can accomplish these three things today, but it's not always perfect. And so I don't wanna like plan out my entire week and then get behind or get ahead. So I just have my ongoing to-do list and then I just go day by day. I have been trying to do a better job at meal planning lately and I've gotten really good at it. And actually picking out meals, trying new meals, having a space to write down the meals that I'm going to make that week. And then also I like having a space where I can plan out the meals that I'm gonna make the following week so I can get my grocery order in. I've been trying to be more organized with my cleaning and not feel like I have to do it all in one day or feel like I'm behind. And I've found a really good system for myself and this combination of Clean Mama and also Go Clean Co are the two Instagram accounts that I follow that are cleaning related. I actually probably follow more, but those are the two that I've kind of found my inspiration from to create my, how I clean. And it's mostly Clean Mama for the schedule. So I wanted a place where I could have the cleaning tasks that I do each day. There's five things. And then I wanted a place to have the once a week cleaning tasks, like the like Monday you do bathrooms, Thursday you mop, those sort of things. Wanted a place for that as well, but I didn't need a ton of room for it. The same goes with meal planning. I had like an extra notebook and I started just like, not sketching out, but kind of making my own planner system, kind of like a bullet journal, but just to see 
what I actually needed and what I actually used because you can be like, oh, I think this planner is gonna be perfect and then you don't use a whole entire section of it or you realize I don't need an entire page for one day. And then I started looking at planners online but I really didn't wanna spend a ton of money and I started looking at desktop planners, pads of paper versus a notebook and I think I found one that has been working really well for me. I've been using it for a couple of weeks and it was $15 on Amazon. This is a desktop notepad, is that what it's called? Planner, over on this side, it has six boxes, one for each day of the week, and the weekend is put into one, which is perfect for me because I almost don't even need a box for the weekend, but it is nice if we do have like any plans or to-dos, I can put that there. It has a section right here for my running to-do list. The section down here is a habit tracker, but actually kind of perfect for my daily cleaning tasks. So bed floors, counter clutter, dishes, and then I write the big ones just in the box for that day. So like Monday is bathrooms, Tuesday is dust, vacuum mop, blah, blah, blah. And then there's a section over here, you can see these three pink boxes, and I didn't know what to do with that for the longest time, but I was like, that can be where I write out the meals for the week, because for a while I tried to say like, okay, Tuesday is spaghetti night, and Wednesday we're gonna have this, and I tried to put it on a specific day, and I found that that didn't work. It was better to be like, okay, I have these four or five meals that I'm gonna make this week. And then each day I can be like, you know what? I think barbecue pizza sounds really good for tonight. That's what I'm gonna make. Like I made chicken noodle soup last night. So I have a section, the first box is meals and I wrote down all the meals that I had meal planned for and got groceries for. The next box is the videos that I'm working on this week. This last box is gonna be where I choose the meals for next week. That way on Friday or this weekend, whenever I do our next grocery order, I can make sure I get all the ingredients for those. It seems so basic and simple, but I think actually taking the time, instead of just being like, that's a pretty planner, I'll get that. To be like, what are the things that you need to plan out? And having it all in one spot is very important to me. And that's why I was trying to do it digitally. I think I found a way that works best for me at the moment just like anything else in life how you organize your life changes depending on your current situation your current job your family and all of that so I think it's important to realize when something's not working for you and switch it up when you need to and that's what I've done and I feel like I've just done such a good job lately of realizing that how I was going about things wasn't working for me taking the time to like sit down and actually analyze it and say okay what needs to change what do I want to change and actually changing those things but that is my current planner system I'll link the videos related to this down below several several years ago when I first started femhead I realized I needed a planner again because I hadn't had one since college and so I spent like 50 60 bucks or whatever on a planner and it was like completely wrong for me because I hadn't taken the time to look at what I actually needed out of a planner so although it was beautiful and cute expensive it didn't really help me out I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye